Hello everybody, it's Andy of Bill's Lighthouse. Welcome back to another episode. Last time we had the wonderful box of Shining Legends that we opened. I think time before that, some packs, and I think even before that was that lovely top deck crate. But today, I've got basically a repeat episode, really. Because in fact, we have another box of Shining Legends. Let me scoot a little closer. <laughs> yeah, so we've got another box of these. I thought, I, I really enjoyed the one last time. I'd actually already got this and I was waiting for it to sort of appear again I say appear as in be delivered to me so let's just tackle straight into the plastic I should have done this before but then how would you know it would, uh, would have been a new box yeah so this arrived a little later than the first one so now we can just get straight to I'm going to do, I'm going to do the setup again because I like that it makes it look like I'm buying at a shop except that I'm not because I have bought all these for myself. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to go straight into it. Lovely pack art, as uh, the same before. And what did we get in the last pack, uh, the box, actually, just uh, to reiterate? I mean, I might have some lying around that I can show. Not to hand, actually. I've put them away. Actually, we got Love Esther, Jimish, Electrode. I, I need to find that name. Reshiram, very nice. So, <laughs> yeah, to sort of reiterate from the last time we have, this is a pack from Japan, uh, like an asset from Japan. It will be coming out in English. And it mainly focuses on, I say mainly focuses on, it has a lot of legendary and mythical Pokemon. The shining cards have returned, so we do have the chance of actually getting a shiny Pokemon within our cards. Smaller pack sizes, and there's one of the. I don't know if it's necessarily sought after for all of them, but there's a nice particular ultra rare or, or secret rare of this card. It does look fantastic. It's a very nice looking card himself. In fact, I'm going to just start today. So that's pack number two. We've already got. A lovely GX, I'm going to pop him into a nice little sleeve. I'll put him to a side, away from my knife. Um, <laughs> so we've got our hollows, our nice GXs, nice sort of preserved sleeves. I mean, I will, like I say, much like before, sleeve up any very nice cards, like I say, the hollows, ultra rares, etc. Okay. So I'm trying to think of some of the other nice cards we've had in recent uh, packs and whatnot and I think really for the last box I would probably say the crowning glory is um, yeah for the last pack we had the uh, last pack but the last box we had um, the two Entes the regular GX version and then the Rainbow Rare, or the Rainbow Hyper Rare as well, so they're very nice. Oh, there's that lovely little Totodile. Yeah, so we've got definitely, there's a good chance of um, some nice cards. Palkia, very nice. Uh, I say good chance of nice cards, obviously there is. We're just sifting through this entire box. I'm having some trouble with the packs today. So that can only mean one thing. I'm having trouble with the packs today. It doesn't mean anything. There's no coincidence in anything. So we've got Litten, Bulbasaur, Incineroar, Fralligator, Switch, and Marshadow. Very lovely. Very lovely. But yeah, something I want to be doing as well um, coming forward. I want to see if I can get some actual matches uh, played out. See if I can coax a friend into playing with me, or see if, or if I could, if I have to, I will. Uh, ready for this? Bam! Look at that. Or if I have to, I'll just try and uh, uh, set up so I can record off of uh, TCG Online. Zekrom, very nice. Moseying on through these. I'm just going to try and open these from the bottom. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get some actual matches played, perhaps be it online or, or through the actual cards themselves. Energy and Evil Tile. I think that's like third Evil Tile, second Reshiram, 
third deck from second marshallow in fact i can just about remember what we got last time i know it was a couple of days ago now but my memory starts to get a little bit fuzzy so ivysaur Zora, bloatsall thunfisk rancher girl manaphy so i think that's then the third manaphy maybe yeah no it would be third i don't think we got um three in the last part it's only been it was only doubles no triples, but as this obviously is in a completely new box, we shall see. Oh, Shroomish. Uh, Penisaur. Super Scoop Up. There's another Entei for us. Look at that. Fantastic. He can go with his brothers when I remember where I've put them. <laughs> don't worry, I still have them. I'm not I'm not fibbing. And, oh, I don't like my knife sitting there. I'm putting it back down there. I don't stab a paint pot. That'll be good. Right, so that's now... Two regular Entes and a rainbow. For a second, I just looked down at the camera and I thought I hadn't done it right and a Volt Orb was some sort of secret rare. I quite like the little pattern in the background of that card. It's quite nice. Uh, Arbok, Pokemon Catcher, and there we go. There's a Shining Mew. Very lovely. Look at that shimmer across him. Is it right across the screen? And does he? Yeah, he's got a little texture on him as well. Much like, uh, what was it the last time? The Lugia, the Genesect. We didn't get to see me pull the Genesect because that was when my camera kept dying. I, I, I must have just had either such old batteries in there or just cheap, nasty batteries. I've just seen a nice border. So we've definitely got something in this pack. Um, Trode, that fella. Brizian, nice. Um, yeah, so I just must have had some nasty batteries in there. The sort that you get from a local corner shop. There's nothing actually good about them. They just die quicker than you can put them back in. Oh. Ah, Raikou. Yeah, it is. Okay, I couldn't think of his name then. Is it? Mente speaking Raikou. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of Pokemon now. I sometimes forget names. Pikachu. And Palkia. Did we get Palkia earlier? I believe we did. So I think that's maybe the first double of today. We have got a couple of him anyway now. And I'm going to go for a backflip. So yeah, the set's quite in, pretty nice. It's going to be interesting to see how... Hoopa. Not, it'll be, I mean, it's nice to see Hoopa, but it'll be interesting to see how they set this uh, set out for English, whether or not we get some sort of extra bonus promos that we haven't had otherwise. That'd be sore. I mean, yeah, it'll be very interesting. There's another Reshiram. Is this last pack? No, it's not. We've still got another one in there, don't worry. See, he's there. <laughs> At least one more. Um... Yeah, because sometimes, like, I mean, we get different promo boxes with, say, Umbreon and Espeon, like, most recently. Like, the ones that, well, the ones that I've seen most recently. I'm not saying they're the most recent ones. Um, whether or not they get dumped into a, uh, a new set. No, see, there's another. How many do we have? One, two, I think it's three more. It's quite funny how... It just seems like the box just keeps emptying out, but there's always one more left. Always one more. And a front flip. Bulk Tub. Zora. Bulk Canyon. Haha. <laughs> Bulk Rona. Don't worry, I do know. Some Fisk. Ultra Ball. And Zorak GX. Very nice. I think I'm. I say I think. I know I'm currently running a, a Zorak Umbreon mismatch um, deck. So just because he'll be put, well, no, he'll probably still be about. But this is a very nice card. Very nice to pick that one up. I do like him. So that's oh done. Or oh, what have I done? Oh no, okay. I thought I just bodged the cards, but it's okay. It was just the pack. See, they're fine. I nearly showed you them all upside down. Cinnaroll, Lily. Hey, another Shining Lugia. Very nice. So, I mean, well, I'm not going to count my chickens or anything because this last pack could have something in. 
Oh no, there's another pack down under there as well. Oh my goodness, we're just we're rolling in it. Rolling in packs. I think it was in the last pack I had two shining cards. The Lugia and Genesect. I mean, it's a Lugia and Mew. Good old Lugia Magugia. So, Pikachu, Mr. Bulbasaur. Energy. Oh, hey! <laughs> Entei, full art this time. So, um, looking at the card, it's okay. But it is a basic GX. So, I mean, that's not too bad, actually, for a basic GX. If you look at some of the monstrous uh, GXs that are about, I mean, they've got, like, they're two stage, they're stage two evolution, they've got, like, a 250 HP. But that, that's pretty good. So we've now got four Entei's. Entei will now become the mascot of the channel. He won't, but <laughs> I've always got a soft spot for Entei. He is top dog after all. I do like that jinx, a very funny artwork. Energy and, to finish it, a nice Zekrom. So let's just scoop up our rares and hollows. Yes, there's a fair sort of few repeats in that pile, but that's okay. Because then in our, I mean that's our lovely pile, but then in our super duper lovely pile, we're doing that order I, I'd imagine, obviously we've got then our, our lovely Shining Lugia, Shining Mew, Zorak GX, Mewtwo GX. So I'm just, oh, sorry, I was just looking at the, uh, like I say, they're both basic GXs, both sort of same sort of hit points, obviously moves are going to differ, lovely Entei. Once again, and the full art Entei, he's very nice, very, very nice. Right, well, that has actually been another box of Shining Legends. I'm going to see if I can find my other, where I put them. Oh, no, I found them. Uh, but yeah, that was a, another box of Shining Legends. Um, I don't see that I'm going to be getting another box, so... Um, well, I might, and I might. So there's my other two lovelies that I've had. So we've got four Entei's. Look at those gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that pack. That pack of dogs. Ravenous. 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 Well, they might have rabies. I don't know. Anyway, like I say. So <laughs> I'm getting off track. I'm just. Going, I'm blinded by the shimmer. So yes, that's another box of Shining Legends done. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully for the next part. By now, Burning Shadows is going to be out in the UK. Um, I'll have hopefully then received my box by the time this goes up, opened, and that will be uploaded as well soon enough. So until then, um, I've been Andy of Bill's Lighthouse. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys next time.